in our last session, we talked about how you can protect your various computer app, computer accounts by using really strong passwords. Okay, what we're going to talk about in this particular video here is how you can protect yourself, your most important possession, your body. And that's uh, really, really important. So let's go into that. Let's go right into the slideshow. Hi, in our third and last video for this session, we're going to talk about something very important, which is ergonomics. If you damage your laptop, what can you do? Well, you can just replace it, right? But if you damage your body, what do you do now? Well, hopefully you can go to the hospital and get it fixed up, but let's hope. Let's hope. Okay. What we're going to do in this, in this video is just define the word ergonomics, discuss some good computing ergonomics, talk about some exercises that you can do, and look at some examples of really bad practices. There's some videos here if you have time to take a look at them. Um, we're not going to look at them now, but if you can't have a chance, just take a look. Go into the PowerPoint file and, uh, and click on them, and they look pretty interesting. But I want to ask you, do you have tired or itchy eyes, a sore neck, an aching back, or aching wrists? If so, you need to study ergonomics. Ergonomics is the science of fitting the workspace to the worker. And the goal is to avoid musculoskeletal disorders, otherwise known as MSDs, which can be very painful and disabling. And they're caused by a mismatch between your movement and your muscle capacity. Your chair is the most important item for safe computer use. The, and uh, be sure to have some kind of lumbar support, which fits into the lower curve of your back. Your feet... The chair should be adjusted so that your feet fit flat on the floor and that your your legs are supported, but there's not a lot of pressure on the back of your knees. Your keyboard should just about be above your lap, okay, so that your forearms are parallel to the floor. And if possible, use a wrist rest, okay, to keep your wrists from uh, having to struggle too much. And the best thing is to get a some kind of drawer that you can put under your desk where you can put your your um, your keyboard and your mouse on there. Okay, and the mouse should be on the same level as your keyboard. So if you're putting your keyboard down in the keyboard drawer, put the mouse down there too so your arm doesn't have to change too much. Your monitor should be at least an arm's length away. Okay, it could be 20 or 30 inches, but an arm's length away, not too close. And it should be directly in front of you, of course. And the top of the display should be about, should be about two or three inches above eye level, so you, you're not looking down too much at the display. And uh, adjust the lighting in the room so you don't get too much glare on the screen, so it's easy to see what's on the screen there. Okay, also, unlike this diagram here, I think it's important that you wear clothes. Okay, laptops. You um, may, Some people do this. You get an external keyboard and monitor, which enables you to have a, a monitor at the, at the proper height and a keyboard at the proper height as well. And then whenever you need to take the laptop, you can just unconnect it and take it off. The, um, so you get the benefits of a large screen and a nice keyboard and the, and the portability that's available from a laptop. Um, just be careful. We tend sometimes to use laptops in awkward positions, which can cause injuries. So, so be careful about that. And and surprisingly, if you do use a laptop on your lap, it may cause burns. So just be aware of that. Just be aware. Okay, your eyes. Your eyes are probably the most sensitive and most valuable piece of equipment you have. You want to be real careful with them. Okay, take frequent breaks frequent breaks. Okay, there's a 20-20 rule, which means basically every 20 minutes stare at something that's 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Okay, it's a good thing to do because our eyes are not designed to look at computer screens. Okay, they're designed to look at uh, when you're out in the African plains to look and see these lions coming at us about a mile away. So you want to be sure your eyes are, are you know, your eyes are not designed for, for this close-up work. So give them a rest. Let them, let them get some uh, Take, take a rest so they're not strain too much. And also, we get so involved in the work we're doing on the computer sometimes, we forget to blink. And blinking is a very necessary thing to do because it moistens the eye. So um, please be sure to blink as much as you can. So just keep the eye nice and moist. moist. 
The okay, so just to review here, what's the most important item for safe computer use? Well, surprisingly, yes, it's the chair. Okay, and be careful with your eyes. The 2020 rule again: 20 every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds, and of course, blink, blink, blink. Right. Okay, optimal reading distance, computer, again, 20 or 30 inch, arm's length away. Don't get too close, okay? Keep it as far away as possible. And, of course, if you have a tablet or a phone, uh, keep it as 12 to 15 inches away, basically your elbow length away. Okay, don't, don't, I see a lot of people holding the phones like six inches away from their eyes. That that does cause strain. Like, so uh, you want to keep it far away. You don't want to be wearing glasses uh, or being, have to wear glasses later on in life. So just be careful with the eyes there. Okay, and your head, good posture with the head. Now, think of this, your head is, is the same weight as a bowling ball, okay? And then if you were to hold a bowling ball, okay, usually you hold it with your arm straight upright, okay, so that there's no stress on it. But if you hold the bowling ball, if you just move your arm out 45 degrees, then gravity puts a lot of strain on your arm and pulls it down. So the same thing happens with your head and your neck. You want to hold your head up high. Keep it right above your spinal column so there's no... Your your neck muscles don't have to do a lot of work. If you bend down your head, that causes a lot of strain on the back of your neck and and on on your neck, your neck, the spinal column there. So just be real careful about that. Hold your head up high. It's also good for you. And you can see farther away if you head up high. Okay, your lumbar support. Okay, now good chairs have a good lumbar support, but if you don't have a good chair, you can do something kind of similar. You can get lumbar support if you go onto Amazon. You can look, and there's things you can little pads you can buy for fifty or sixty dollars. But if you you don't want to spend that much money, just get a small towel, just you know wrap it up, put some rubber bands on it, and just put that between your chair and your lower back, and you'll see feels really good, you know, just to get that that bend in your back, that reverse, that S-shaped bend that you should have in your back. Now, wrists are are very important. We use use our hands for typing all the time. And and a good example of of the strain that can be on the wrist, if if we we make a fist, okay, and that's not so bad, okay, but then if we move that fist forward, okay, bend the wrist forward, and you notice you feel the strain in your wrist, okay, the strain in your arm and your fingers. So it's better to keep your wrist straight. So when you're typing, just make sure your wrist is straight so there's not a lot of stress on the wrist. Okay, good. Now, I've got a bunch of pictures here. I just want you to show, <laughs> show these to you. And if you can just tell me what's wrong with these, right? Basically, okay, picture number one. Obviously, well, you know, the wrong chair, the wrong table, uh, and, um, you know, just way too close looking at it. It's just not not a good situation at all. Lots and lots of things wrong with that. Okay, this is a fairly typical situation here because what's wrong here? Well, um, the, the woman has her legs crossed, okay, which is going to cut down the circulation. She's, uh, she, uh, it's good to, she also has her, her body twisted, okay, her legs are, her hips are pointing one way and her chest is pointing another and her head's going the third way. So <laughs> she's probably straightened everything out, look good. Her keyboard is pretty high, it may be better to have it under the desk, uh, but um in any case, a couple of things wrong there that, that could be thick. Also, the monitor could be a little bit higher. Okay, here again, this is another typical situation. The woman's using a laptop, but the monitor is kind of slow. Maybe you should raise it up a little bit. The keyboard is a little high. You notice how her forearms are, are bent up. They're not parallel to the floor. She is sitting on a good chair. Those are those chairs that uh, that uh, are supposed to be very good for you. you. You never can completely relax your muscles. Your leg muscles are always getting a little bit of a workout there. But um, but but she can she can raise up that monitor so she's not looking down like that and uh, keep the keyboard down a little bit so keep the arms parallel to the floor. Okay, here's a pretty novel solution here to raise up the monitor. Pretty good, but you know what's going to happen here is those books are just going to slide out and could cause problems. So also the guy's looking at a blank screen which. Not sure that's too helpful. But in any case, uh, keyboard's good. His arms are fairly parallel to the floor, which is good. And the mouse is at the same level of the keyboard, which is good. But uh, it's it's a good try. But I <laughs> get something a little bit better to support the monitor. Okay, this looks very nice and relaxed. But uh, again, we, we have no lumbar support here. The spine is not, uh, it's kind of just bent a little way the wrong way. 
uh, her legs, her, her thighs are not parallel to the floor, so she should lower the floor down. Sorry, lower the lower the seat down a little bit, so her thighs are parallel to the floor. Her arms right now are parallel to the floor, which is good. And the monitor is is good height. It's about the top of the monitor is about the same as her eyes, but again, her chair. She should be a little a little better seating posture would be good. Okay, this is ridiculous here. Way, way, way too close. But again, I've seen people use phones at this distance. You know, you don't want to get that close. That could cause eye problems. And the, okay, here, again, this woman has her legs crossed. Not good for circulation. Her arms are up high. The keyboard's up high. Maybe you could lower it down a little bit. And of course, the monitor is kind of low. Maybe she could raise that up a little bit and make it a little bit easier for her. Here again, looking way too close. Um, keyboard is um, the monitor should be a little bit higher. The guy's hunched over, so it's hard to see how it lines up with his eyes. But again, this kind of posture you can't do too long about having some pretty pretty bad back problems. And this unfortunately looks like my desk too much of the time, and it's uh, kind of a real mess here. But uh, this guy is looking at his phone. I guess it's okay. I guess if he if he were to look at his monitor. We'd have to turn twist a little bit, which is all right. The monitor is at, has a good height. I notice he's uh, supporting it by a couple of books, which is not the best thing, but uh, better than nothing. A uh, keyboard must be under the desk, which is good again. So, so except for the mess there, he's doing a fairly good job. Okay. All right, so in any case, just to review, okay, Urban ergonomics is the fitting of the workplace safely to the worker. Your chair is very, very important. And try to have some kind of lumbar support there. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Keep your thighs and your forearms parallel to the floor. Your top of the screen should be about two inches above your eye height, and so you don't have to look down at it. And keep the screen at least an arm's length away. And take frequent, pre- frequent, take frequent breaks and blink. Rest your eyes. Okay, good. Okay, we've got a little quiz here. If you go to uh, Blackboard and the, the course content and you click on week two ergonomics and hardware, and there's a quiz on ergonomics, very simple quiz, a couple of questions. So uh, just do that, get 100 on it, and you're going to be fine. Okay, so good. Those were some pretty strange pictures, right? Well, I hope, I hope you don't do that uh, Although um, sometimes I've been known to, to slump quite a bit. But in any case, you know, have good posture. You'll feel a lot better. And and and, and be sure to do the homework. Okay, Make sure you go do that by, uh, by our next class, which is coming up soon. So make sure you do that. And remember, the most important part of posture is the smile. So keep smiling and enjoy as much as you can because we we're only here once. And uh, just have the best time possible. Okay, see you next session.